the book is about the power of love in, in the face of fear. And it was really this way for me to finally process all the fear I grew up with and explore it through these characters. <laughs> Hi, my name is Abdi Nazemian, and I'm the author of Like a Love Story. It's a book that I've wanted to write for a very long time. It really came from a personal place, because that's very close to the era that I grew up in. And I really wanted to write about the generation I was from, which was the generation of queer people who were not on the front lines of the AIDS crisis, um, who didn't you know, lose a lot of friends necessarily, but also who weren't young enough that we didn't remember the crisis. We were really kind of coming into ourselves as teens in a time where being gay was kind of in the media synonymous with disease and death. And it was just this really difficult thing. When I started writing, it was very hard for me to write things that were that were personal, that were Iranian, that were queer. And I also think I was holding on to a lot of fear myself. I mean, my own fear that came from, you know, the shame of being gay in the Iranian community. I think I wasn't really ready to be as vocal about my experiences. Now, as much more of an adult and as somebody in a loving relationship with kids, it was time for me. I wasn't holding on to that fear anymore and I was able to finally express it and process it. And I think on a kind of more macro level, I'm so inspired by so many teenagers who are becoming activists these days. It's, you know, there's teens are really on the front lines of activism. In the beginning of the AIDS crisis, the government was doing nothing. I mean, the president, who was Ronald Reagan at the time, literally didn't even say the word AIDS for many years. So I felt like it was a time to share with young people the history of a moment in activism that was really important in this country. We learn about history in a deeper way through stories, and that's how we get to the root of the emotion of them. And I think it can be very easy with something like what happened to just view it as a statistic or a headline. And I really want teens to understand what it felt like to grow up in that era. I want teens who probably feel very isolated right now in the world because once again we have so much injustice against so many people. And to see how communities can come together and create change through love, through anger, through focus, and that's really powerful.